who is like unto thee? Oh Lord, who is like unto thee? Oh Lord, among the gods, who is like you? Glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, doing wonders, hallelujah. Who is like unto thee? Oh Lord, who is like unto thee? Among the gods, who is like you, glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, doing wonders, hallelujah. Father, in the name that is above every other name, the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I want to thank you because of this Sunday, after this Sunday service, I want to thank you for masses. I want to thank you for your faithfulness. I want to thank you because you are God. Thank you because you are from beginning to beginning. You are the one that was and is and is and is to come. You are the God that was in the beginning. You are the God that is that which created the heavens and the earth. And I want to thank you because you are God. There is no other God. The Bible says that other gods besides you in Psalms, in Isaiah chapter 26 and verses 13. Other gods besides you have taken rule and dominion over us, but they are dead. I am asking you, Father, by your mercy that you are going to show yourself strong and you are going to prove to the nation of Kenya that you are God and there is none like you. Father God, I thank you and I bless you. Isaiah 26 verse 13, O Lord our God, other lords besides you have had dominion over us, but by you only will we make a mention of your name. Verse that 14, they are dead, they shall not live. They are deceased, they shall not rise. Therefore, you have visited and destroyed them and made all their memories to perish. Amen. Father, I want to thank you. I want to bless you because that is what you are and who you are and what you are doing in this nation. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Wow, what a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful Sunday service. This is a Sunday and I'll keep on repeating that I long for so that I can minister to somebody and so that I can serve you in your need. Amen. May God bless you. May God keep you. Let his face shine upon you for always tuning in, even when I am serving you and when I'm preaching the gospel. Thank you so much for those ones that have been my partners all the way, those that have been standing with me, those that have been saying, woman of God, I am with you 100%. I'm going to stand with you with my finances. I'm going to partner with you because together we are being spent and spent for the gospel. Do you have my number? Are you saying, woman of God, till Jesus come, I will occupy. Luke 19 verses 13. I will occupy with my, ten, my ten, tenants, with my talents. I will occupy with my finances. I will occupy so that we can preach together. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 15, chapter 12, verse 15, I am longing and I desire and I'm gladly happy that I am spending and being spent because of you. Are you saying, woman of God, I want to be spent and I want to spend for the kingdom of God. This is my pay bill number. Send me your 1,000. Send me your 500 shillings. If you don't have a pastor you are tithing to, kindly tithe 
that I may continue being on air for the glory to the glory of God. This is 400-222. My account number, it is 173-9983 hash. Send your transactions to 746 553 and God is going to bless you. I want to appreciate every one of you that interceded for me, those that came to the first meeting that I've had in Chuka. I'm still going there. October 15th, I'll be there also, and I'm blessing God for everything. But this time, I'm going to Legacy Hotel. That is where I've booked a room. Uh, uh, not a room. That's where I've booked a place. In fact, it's a room, a hall. And I've started now my mission in Tharakanithi County and Meruchuka. And God is going to bless you. Amen. Now, I'm still speaking about the power of praise. We spoke about praising God. Today, I want us to know that praising God will cultivate praise. It will help you to cultivate a habit. When you learn to praise him, it becomes a habit. You know, and this one I'm using a book for my father, Possessing the Land, Apostle Johnson Suleiman. I'm using it. I don't have to write the notes if I have a book here. This is my father. I have a right also to talk about it because he writes for us to do it. Amen. Now, it is possess, possess the land, Apostle Johnson Suleiman. Amen. And here he has said, the weapon to take back your inheritance. The weapon to take back your inheritance. So when you praise, there is that habit you will cultivate. It will come for the habit of praise. Every time it may look hard, but as you continue praising, it will become part and parcel of your life. The same way you cannot go outside without clothes, but unfortunately, many of our young people are just walking naked, but God will show them mercy. That is why we are here. Now, this is what my father has written. Remember, I spoke to you. I'm going to go to the same scripture, Psalms 119, verses 164. 119, verses 164. Psalms 119 and verses 164. Seven times a day do I praise you because of your righteousness or your righteous judgment. Every time make a habit to praise in God. Now this is what my father has said here. If you must enter into your land, you must cultivate the habit of praise. Praise is not an event. It is a habit. It is a lifestyle that commanded that is commanded by God, irrespective of what is happening around you. David was a man of praise. No wonder he said, a man, no wonder he is a man after God's heart. David was a man after God's heart. Every time David was dancing, David was praising God. David, everything. Everything he was just singing. Who is like unto thee? Oh Lord, who is like unto thee? Oh Lord, among the gods, who is like you? Glorious in holiness. Fearful in praises, doing wonders, hallelujah. He was a praiser. Mighty man of war, lion of Judah, we bow down and worship you. Why was he singing such songs? He was a man of war. He saw the victory of God. The Bible says that David kept on saying the most terrible one in battle because he was a God of battle. Amen. And he gave him prosperity in every leadership he had. Amen. Now, what does praise do? My father here have said what praise does. 
I think I'll go with that. What praise does? What praise does? I think that will be our topic. What praise does? Number one, my father says that praise gives addition. Let's look at second uh, Acts, Acts chapter 2. Yes, it gives addition. I told you I'm going to use books here, especially my father, my mother in the Lord, uh, Dr. Lizzie Johnson Suleiman, because they are my mentors and uh, they have taught me good things. Amen. Now, praise will give addition. Do you need addition in your salary? Keep on praising, expecting salary, addition. And I'm telling you one day, God is going to surprise you. Is it about giving birth? Continue dancing. Look at Hannah. He went to the temple. He, she prayed. She mourned, you know. But finally, God gave her victory. Amen. Look at chapter 2 and verses 46. The Bible says in verses 47, Praising God and having favor with all the people, and the Lord added to the church daily as should be saved. Amen. The apostles, we are visiting homes. The apostles, we are doing fellowship. And the Bible says, and they continually daily, verse 46, with one accord in the temple and breaking bread from house to house, did eat their meat with gladness and singleness of heart, praising God. Ninamjua aliye mwamba aliye nioko wa nibwana yesu mwamba 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 yesu ndiye mwamba yes 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 amen praising god and having favor with all the people and the lord added to the church daily as as such as should be saved addition addition do you want another child addition the first thing praise does is to give a man addition as a trader you stayed in your sales point from morning till noon without making sales shut your doors get inside dig it in praise for a while after sweating open up again and you shall be amazed at what will happen <laughs> Amen. I can read and read about my father. I can read. Oh, this my father has it. Amen. You stayed a long time without favor. That is what he's trying to tell us here. You have stayed all day and no favor is coming in your direction. Go and praise God. The reason you are ashamed before the world is because you are too big to dance before the Lord. Yes, there are no adults before God. When you praise God, he raises you. When you do not praise him, he erases, he erases. When you praise God, he raises you. When you don't praise God, he erases <laughs> you. When you do not praise him, he erases you. I pray that you will not be erased in Jesus' name. Amen. Wow. The reason there, are some, there seems to be reduction all around you is because you have no habit of praise and gratitude. Mm. Number two, I can read and read and read. You know, my father can preach. I'm just listening to him. Listen, number two, it hastens your expectation. When you have a habit or when you activate the habit of praising, my father here has said it hastens your expectation. When you thank God for what he has done, he has not done, you commit him to do it. Yes, you are in problems, you are dancing, you are praising him. Thank you, you have done it, you have done it. You find that he is going to do it. He is going to do it. I'm telling you, he's going to, not once, not twice. Maybe I don't have money for mission. Maybe I don't have money to clear for the oracle. You know, and I just tell him, God, I just sing. I just tell God, I know you are going to do it. You are going to do it, Lord. Najua buana, anatengeneza njia, anatengeneza njia kwa jili yangu. Ninajua buana, anatengeneza njia, anatengeneza njia kwa jili yangu. As I'm worshiping, praising, somebody online will have to be a blessing. 
could be it is you today. Amen. Yes, you make him to do it even when he has he didn't have to do it. In short, I consider praise so important that just as you can't that you can't pastor in our ministry without being a graduate, so also you must be able to play at least one musical instrument, whether drum sets, piano, guitar, or even tambourine. David was a master player who could play virtually all the instruments visible, available in his time. No wonder the Bible describes him as an angel of God. I used to be a serious drama. Papa used to play dramas, to play dramas. For me, I can play dramas. I can play. I don't know how you play. I don't know how you do it. I can play vuvuzela. I used to play this small, I don't know, pipe. I don't know how we used to call it. You know, I did music. I tried keyboard, but <laughs> I can play a little bit, but confused, eh? But God will help me. Amen. What can you pr- play? What instrument can you play? We have another one. I don't know how we used to call it. Like a tube with the seeds inside. Shaker inside, eh? We used to play. In our church, people come with instruments. Yes. Number three, it turns goods are God's attention to a man. When you have a habit of praise, it will turn God's attention to a man. It will turn God's attention to you that is praising. Because God loves praise. Amen. The Lord privileged me and he showed me two angels that come when they are his worship. And he gave me their two names. I will not say them here. But every time I open my mouth or the church or anywhere, anybody, that opens their mouth to intercede that is under me. Those angels appear. They have a golden censer. They collect every incense from your song, you know, and then when you are done, they take it to the Lord. How many times has that incense be filled with your praises or in your worship? Amen. Now, Psalms 89, let's see what my father says in Psalms 89. And verses 15. Papa says in his church, every one of them, you, you, the people must know to play one, 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 one of the instruments. Number two, nobody can be a pastor without, you know, graduation. That is why we go to school. That is why God is helping us. Amen. And this one should be very, it's important. Sometimes pastors are complaining why should they go to school, to theology? Even me, I wasn't for that. But when I got in, I did my master's. I'm seeing there are things I used to preach. Yes, of course, they were from God and whatever. But there is an understanding that I have. It's not about only, you know, graduation, no. It is also learning ethics, learning a lot of things. Amen. Now, 86, 89. 89, 89, even my pastors, they have done it. Yes, they are going to school. They have done, some have done certificates, diploma, and some are graduated. They have already graduated. Amen. So it is good to give them that knowledge. Now, Psalms 89 and verses 15. Praise will turn God's attention to the man that is praising him. Amen. The Bible says in verses 15, The Bible says, Blessed is the people that know the joyful sound. They shall walk, O Lord, in the light of your countenance. Blessed are the people that know the joyful sound. They know praise. They know the sound, the sound, you know, the joyful sound, the instruments. You know, do you know every instrument have a meaning even in the body of Christ? Like now during deliverance, drums will help to provoke deliverance. Worship, silent keyboard, nice notes, you know, not confused. You know, the power of God will flow because they work hand in hand with what God is doing. Amen. They shall walk, O Lord, in the sight of your countenance, those that know. The sound of dancing, the sound of praising, 
the sound, the joyful sound. Amen. Those that know, they will walk. Yes, and not only walk, they will walk in the light of the countenance of Jehovah. Amen. They will walk in the presence of Jehovah. Let's hear what my father says here. When a man praises God, God turns his, turns him, his attention to that man. You cannot have divine attention and suffer human rejection. It is true. When you have the presence of God, you find favor. I used to suffer rejection many, many years back. I used to suffer rejection. But I'm telling you, God favored me with his presence. God gave me favor. It works. It works. It works. Praise makes you a focus of divine attention. Hmm. Solomon was greatly blessed because he was a man of praise. Hey, I love that. That praise makes you a focus of divine attention. You dance. Hey, every, look at even gospel musicians. Look at wild singers. They attract their people. Praise and worship. You know, when gospel singers, when somebody is leading praises, you feel people like them. People like them. People love their songs. Yes. You see, they get crowds. They, why? Because of praise. Amen. Amen. Now, number four. Number four. It opens your spiritual ears to hear God. I'm telling you it is true. Oh, oh, there are times I'll pray, God, the heavens are shut. I'll start praising. I will lift him up. I will glorify him. I will bless his name. I'm telling you, I will start worshiping him. Wewe ni mungu, watuliza mawimbi. How fun an issue. I will start exalting, blessing him, lifting his life. I will start dancing. I will literally stand up and start dancing. And I'm telling you, my eyes will be open. My ears will be open. I will start seeing what I was asking God for. And he kept quiet. He's going to reveal it to me. Amen. Let's look at the book at the Bible, Second Kings chapter 3. Second Kings. Let us see what happened in Second Kings. Second Kings chapter 3 verse 15. Look at what the Bible says, 15 to 17. But now bring me a minstrel. And it came to pass when he, the minstrel played that the hand of the Lord came upon him. And he said, thus says the Lord, make this valley full of ditches. Ah, this was Elisha. Remember, there was drought in this land. And the Israelites did not have water for a long time. He said, bring that instrument, the minstrel. Let me, somebody play it. And as the, it was playing, the Lord, the hand of God came upon the prophet, Elisha. And he started prophesying. He says, and he said, that says the Lord, make this valley full of ditches. Remember David, he was being called invited to the palace by Saul. When an evil spirit entered Saul, Saul did not know. You remember this. David was anointed. The moment he was anointed, an evil spirit entered. The spirit of God left Saul and came upon David and an evil spirit entered into, into, into Saul's life. Now David goes back to the, to the wilderness to, to take care of the flock. Every time that spirit that was troubling this man is the evil spirit that entered when there was exchange. Uh -huh. And the Bible says this guy would play the keyboard. Okay, put your finger there. Allow me to delay a little bit. First Samuel. Let's look at First Samuel. Glory be to God. Let's look at First Samuel. I'll look at this so that I, do, I don't have glasses. Don't have my specs, but I'm going to read anyway. Now, Samuel, then I'm done. First, Samuel. Listen. Listen. Chapter, chapter 16. And verses 13. Then Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the midst of his brethren. 
And the spirit of the Lord came upon David from that day forward. So Samuel rose up and went to Ramah. Verse 14. But the spirit of the Lord departed from Saul, and an evil spirit from the Lord troubled him. Verse 15. And Saul's servant said unto him, Behold now, an evil spirit from God troubled thee. Verse 16. Let our Lord now command thy servants which are before thee to seek out a man who is cunning plain on an harp, and it shall come to pass when the evil spirit from God is upon thee that he shall play with his hand and thou shalt be well. Verse 17. And Saul said unto his servants, Provide me now a man that can play well and bring him to me. Verse 18. And answered one of the servants and said, Behold, I have seen a son of Jesse. Remember, this is the son of Jesse that, was, that got the anointing to replace Saul. The Bible says of Bethlehemite that is cunning in plain and a mighty valiant man and a man of war and a prudent and a prudent in matters and a comely person and the Lord is with him. Look at verse 21. And David came to Saul and stood before him and he loved him greatly and he became his armor bearer. Look at that. Look at that. So every time there was a problem, he would call. The boy would play the guitar or whatever, you know, or the, the trumpet and the guy would be free. Second Kings, we are still in verse 4, chapter 4. Now we are in verse 6, 17. For thus says the Lord, you shall not see wind, neither shall you see rain. Yet the valley shall be filled with the water. Just like I'm telling you, God said, Jesus said, tell them, mm -hmm, I'm coming to wipe their tears. I'm coming to do a new thing to the body of Christ, to the church of Christ. Number two, I am the cry of the nation of Kenya has reached into my heart, is in my heart. I'm going to wipe the tears of the nation. We don't know how, but it's going to happen. No wind, no rain, but there was water. The Bible says that you may drink both you and your cattle and your beast. And this is but a light thing in the sight of the Lord. It's a right thing. Small things, small thing in the eyes of God. He will deliver the Moabites also into your hands. Look at that. The power of praises. That is what my father is saying. Number five. Let me finish with number five. Number five. Praise lengthens lifespan. The more you dance, the more you become prettier. I'm telling you. You know, it brings life. When your spirit is life, you, your spirit is happy. You become younger. You become lighter. You know? The reason you have breath is to praise God. Praise lengthens lifespan. Show me someone who praises God and I'll show you a man whose life cannot be terminated. I'm telling you it is true. It is true. You praise God, your life cannot be terminated. They have tried, but God has preserved me. Why? It's not just about prayer, but it's also... Do you know, I can say today I'm not praying. These hours that I pray... Three hours I'm going to praise him. Three hours I'm going to praise him. I'm going to worship him. And I go and sleep. As an undergrad, <laughs> okay. You must have at least an instrument of praise at home. Do you have it? I think next time I'll come with my mine here. You know, I don't know how you call them. I have it. I have this. I have, you know, my shangarari. <laughs> yeah? Amen. Praise guarantees longevity. It has no business with the premature death. Mm. I want, uh -huh. It has no... Ay, 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 ay. Habakkuk said, through the, although there are circumstances that are contrary around me, yet I will rejoice in the Lord and I will joy in God of my salvation. That shall be your portion as you do so. The situation will turn around for you are good. Amen. Amen. Can we tell the Lord to help us to be people that praise him and God is going to bless us. Amen. 
Are you there? You are saying, woman of God, I want to receive Jesus Christ as my personal Savior. Kindly pray this prayer together with me. Lord Jesus, I am a sinner. I am asking you to write my name in the book of life. I reject Satan and accept you, Jesus. Write my book, my name, in the book of life and take away my name from the book of death. And I have received you today in Jesus' name. Father, I want to thank you for those ones that keep on giving their lives to our Lord Jesus Christ. I pray that salvation will be an evident in their life. I pray that it shall be an evidence and even grace shall rest upon their lives. I pray that the masses of God shall continue resting upon you. And I pray that God, when he comes, he will not be left behind in Jesus' name. You have made the best of choices. Kindly get a church around you, a Pentecostal church that is going to help you to grow. I'm also announcing that 15th to 20th I'll be in Chuka Legacy Hotel. That is where I will be. People in Chuka that are Kanidhi, kindly come. Those that are in Meru, come and hear what God is doing and what God is saying and why and what is the well and what is inside that well, and God is going to bless you. Are you my partner? Are you saying, woman of God, I will occupy till I come. I'm ready to spend and to be spent for the kingdom's sake. This is my pay bill number. Send me your 1,000. Send me your 500 shillings. If you don't have a pastor you submit your tithes to, kindly submit your tithes that I may continue reaching to those that are in the village, and those that do not have their online data and Wi-Fi, that they can hear me well. And God is going to bless you. This is my pay bill number 400-222. My account number is 173 hash And send your transactions to 0746-553-997. And God is going to bless you. Father, I want to thank you for the partners that always partner with me. Father, I want to thank you because this is a team that you have raised so that we may reach to many. And Father, I want to pray that your prayer, that you, their prayer shall reach to you, that you shall see their tears, you hear their prayer, and you shall answer them. I want to thank you for the online church. I bless the audience. I soak them in the blood of Jesus together with their families, and I pray that they are going to be the head and not the tail. May the hand of God continually go together with you. May you be the head and not the tail, and let the promises of God wipe in our tears and doing a new thing in this nation and in your life become your portion. In Jesus' name. Always remember that where there is a prophet, there is a testimony. And by the hand of Apostle Damaris, signs and wonders and miracles are your portion today. God bless you and kindly continue partnering with me. And God is going to continue lighting his light over your life. In Jesus' name, God bless you.